Hey YouTube, welcome back. Today we continue our series on design YouTube. <coughs> today, today we will talk about uh, the DAG model, or what is called a directed acyclic graph model. Um, in the previous video, we talked about the video transcoding and why the video transcoding is important and what we need it to use. The next one today, the 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 graph. Let me just copy this one because I don't want to copy it all. That's uh, eighty. Yeah. So yeah, eighty, and make the color this. Okay, let's just start with this. Okay, okay, that's good. Okay, so. <coughs> the transcoding uh, transcoding a video is uh, computationally uh, expensive. Uh, compun compu computationally computationally computationally. Sorry, my pronunciation sometimes becomes so bad. So, the tra transcoding a video compu uh, computationally is is expensive, like mathematically expensive. Compu Computationally, computationally, and also it's a time confusing. Besides, different content creators also may have um, the different video process requirements. Like, for example, maybe some vid um, content creators require uh, requires um, watermarks on top of the video. Some some may provide thumbnails, images, and maybe some upload high definition videos where some others doesn't do anything. So, to support um, different videos processing pipelines and uh, maintain high uh, parallelism, it is important to add some level of abstraction and let client program and, and let client uh, programs define what tasks to be executed. For example, Facebook streaming videos engine uses. Um, a direct acyclic graph program uh, programming model which define tasks and in, in stages so they can be executed uh, sequ uh, sequentially or parallelly um, sequen sequentially sequentially so you we can just execute them sequentially or um, in parallel way parallelly so in, 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 in our design, we adopt uh, the similar DAG model to achieve a flexible and parallelism. Uh, um, yeah, to achieve this one, we want uh, something be pretty flexible and uh, we want uh, uh, something which uh, uh, work in parallel way. So we have, let me just add this one. Oh, this this is too big. Okay, that's one. So right now we have the video. So before I continue, I will just uh, try to make uh, something. It's I will I will give the definition of the directed acyclic graph. That uh, the directed acyclic graph model can be used um, in, in 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 various topics, but it's important. To, but I guess I guess like most of the time, no one will ask you about. Okay, can you give me a definition uh, definition of uh, of of uh, the directed acyclic uh, graph model? However, the directed acyclic graph model is a type is a type of data structure that consists of uh, of nodes connected by directed edges, where each edge has a direction, and there are no cycles in on the graph in other words you can only travel travels uh, the edges in in one direction and it is impossible to start at a node and flow uh, a sequence of edges to return to the same node i guess this make no sense maybe you didn't understand it so 
let just give it make it make it make it make it quite easier it will be easier to be understood when i just finish the uh the the the, the this uh, uh yeah this this graphic so uh, let's have the video and this video we will break this video into three sections the original video we will first we have audio okay we will have uh, metadata also okay and uh, yeah yeah also we will have um the the actual the, the the actual video which is be the images stuff like that okay so we have it like that yeah okay and just i want to take this one no, 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 not like that. No, no. Yeah, yeah, okay, this one looks way more better. So, first, we broke this video into three sections. Um... It's not typing. So. Uh, give me just, I'm just trying to, to hook on something here. Check, check, check. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. So we have the video, we have the audio, and we have the metadata. Let's just talk about the audio first. The metadata we just save them directly to the to the to the metadata DB. We have the audio, and the audio here we um we 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 ha we, we we go to um uh, audio uh, encoding process, and we we'll talk about that in a bit audio encoding encoding okay and uh, after that we go to the assemble st stage which is the final one okay in the video uh, there will be some things happening here. Let's let just give it like that. Just I guess we need to drag this section a little bit down. Yeah. So in the video, first we will have bunch of tasks that will happen with um with the video. Okay. So let's just have it like this one and. I want to make it, uh, can I make it dot instead of uh, the border? Yeah, I want to make it dot because it will be a bunch of tasks. Sorry, I will close the window because there is a lot of noise outside. Give me a minute. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Okay, 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 we back. We are back. First thing, I guess I need to move this arrow because, yeah, like that. And have it like that and make this one pretty long and quite wide. And I want to also be on top, like just like that, yeah. 
No, 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 sorry. No, no, I don't want that. I don't want that. Yeah. So I guess let's just add some tickets. It will they will sample the the tasks that we have. Maybe I guess we can put four tasks. It will be more than four, but let's just assume that we have four right now. So the first task that comes to my mind that we have the something called inspection. And in this one, inspection. In this one, we make sure the video have good quality and are not uh, male formed, for example. The second one, maybe we have <coughs> the video transcoding transcoding and let me just take it white here can i take it like yeah and the video um um should, should this video encoding sorry in coding and i will talk a bit about this one so the video encoding uh, are converts to support different resolutions codes bit rates um, and I just want to show you some examples like for example um, like you can see the bit rates of uh, why I can't add the no, it's weird. It's weird right now that I can't add um, add squares. I just copy this one. And maybe we have maybe like the, the encoding resolution to resemble like uh, 30, 360 P. And let's just give me this one. Maybe we can have um, Also could be um, um, forty eight uh, p. Maybe you can go to the seventy hundred two p and yeah, and so on and so forth. Let me copy this one. Yeah, so maybe seventy seven hundred and twenty, uh, and maybe you can go up to four k. But let's not. Let's just assume that we put all of that already. Let's vote the other. Let's vote the other. No need, no problem to vote the others. It's good to have um, all the information that we need because, yeah. Mm. We have here uh, uh, 1080p. And maybe you have uh, finally um, uh, 4K. Of course, every file is .mb4. Everyone. And lastly here, .mb4. And let's just continue on this. We have here, and we have lastly this one okay so right now um the video uh, 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 these these tasks when these tasks are finished let me just um i want to just push this one a little bit like here because you can look at them however uh we have the thumb no, oh i i forgot to add the, the new thing the thumbnail And we have the watermarks. Watermark. So the thumbnail can be either be uploaded by user or uh, automatically generated by system. Like you can see, like there's some th thumbnail, the image that will be on the on top of the video. Uh, we have the watermark. It's an image overlay on on top of your video. Also contains identifying information about your video. And all of that. Can I just stretch this assemble? A little bit because all of that when this steps ends 
we go to this here and it goes to the symbol so in order to understand this is directed acyclic graph so if we just try to make the thing quite easier so let's imagine what is a directed acyclic graph like this is one of the its model but what is mean so let's imagine that we have uh, you have a, a, a bunch of tasks to do okay like building a tower with blocks uh, some tasks need to be done before the others for example so uh, directed acyclic graphs right now we have a bunch of tasks right now we have three tasks that we have to do specifically in the video description we find that we have tons of tasks and each one of them has it's a pretty uh, complex not not easy at all so the directed uh, acyclic graph is uh, it is like a map that shows the order of tasks each task is a uh, dot on the map and there are arrows uh, connection uh, arrows connecting them to show which task comes before which but there is a, the rule you can't have a loop there is no loop at all if you can see here th there is no loop which means you can't have a task that goes back to a task you have already done like we when the inspection is done we go back we don't go back to the video there is no loop we don't do any loops so uh, it is like a path with arrows that tells you which block to put on top of another and you can't go in circle this helps you build your towers or helps you build your system in the right order step by step it's like a roadmap building things so yeah this is what is the directed cyclic graph oh it just bad 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 that's not good ah uh, i want to get the can, can i get the title upstairs yeah yeah um scene okay i just have a big uh yeah okay i don't like dots i don't like dots that does make it uh yeah i like it like that so yeah that's it was a directed cyclic graph the dag model i hope my description is quite good if you like my content make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss a video and see you in future problems